In this video, we'll learn how to control addressable LED strip using Arduino. Let's get started. This will be a short video to help you get started on using addressable LED for small-scaled Arduino projects. What's cool about this LED strip is that you can control the color of these LEDs individually. So, you can easily make a rainbow color LED strip, like the one that you see in every Twitch streams. And it's actually easy to use. So, I'm going to teach you what to buy and how to hook it up. And then I'll show you the barebone Arduino code that we can use to control the parameters. What we need to buy is Arduino Uno, jumper wires, and breadboard, addressable LED strip. There are tons of options on Amazon, and I bought this one on SparkFun a long time ago. And you can also get one on Adafruit. Make sure you get the one that says WS2812, and we'll be working with 5V LED strip for this video. We also need resistor sets. We're using a resistor that is between 220 and 470 ohms, and a capacitor. Something between 100 micro to 1000 microfarads should work. And we also need the Arduino IDE software, which is free. In terms of connection, it's straightforward. Red wire is for power, so connect it to 5 volts. And yellow or black wire is for ground. Green wire is for data, so connect it to any of the PWM digital pin. Put a resistor between the data input on the LED strip and the PWM pin, like this. PWM is indicated by the squiggly tilde sign. I'm going to connect it to digital pin number 9. And finally, we're going to put a capacitor between the power and ground. Make sure you put it in the right direction. Put the positive polarity to the 5V and the negative polarity to the ground. Please be careful about this. In terms of powering the LED, each LED can pull about 60 milliamp at full brightness and all three RGB values at maximum. The USB interface apparently limits the power consumption to 500 milliamp. So you won't be able to have a super long and bright LED strip just with laptop powered Arduino. But here's what we can do about that. One, we can lower the brightness, which we'll learn how to do in a few minutes. Or you can purchase a wall adapter power supply, like these, and connect it to Arduino's barrel jack. For most small-scale Arduino projects, like ones that we're going to be building on this channel, the USB power will be enough to get started. And we may use a wall adapter power supply in the future. But if you want to use a super long LED strip, then you can use something like the Meanwell switching power supply, like this which I have personally used before to light up long LED strips as well as powering motors. You'll be dealing with high amounts of current, so you have to do research and be super careful. It's out of scope for this video because I'm not an electrical engineering expert. So, I highly recommend that you ask your professors or friends with a lot of electrical engineering experience. Okay, let's move on to the code. What we need to do first is to install the Adafruit NeoPixel library. In order to install an external library, go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, and then search Adafruit NeoPixel and install this one. This is necessary in order to work with addressable LEDs of this type with ease. Now we can start coding. Add the library that we installed earlier. This line defines how many LEDs we're using. Let's pick 10 for now. And we're using pin number 9. And include this line to initialize. These are the RGB variables. I just put arbitrary values here for now. And we get a light pinkish color, as we'll see soon. And this variable will be used to control the brightness. 255 is the maximum, and 0 is the minimum. And we'll do 32, which is bright enough for now. In our setup function, we need these two lines. The clear function will turn off every LEDs. Here, we're using for loop to turn each of the 10 LEDs on. If you're not sure what's going on here, I highly recommend that you learn about for loops. So, this set pixel color function has four variables that we can control. The first one is for selecting which individual LED on the strip that we're working with. And the next three parameters will determine the RGB values of that selected LED. So, we can control how much red, green, and blue we want to display. 
And we need this show function if we want the LEDs to actually display what we just programmed. And that's pretty much the barebone code for working with addressable LEDs. So the RGB, LED position, and brightness are going to be the parameters that we can play around with. For example, we can choose to have different colors for each LEDs. Using the random function for addressable LED is super fun. There are tons of possibilities. Also, we can connect sensors and control the parameters as well. We're going to be using the LED strip with the ribbon sensor to do this in the next video. So, I'll see you then. Bye.